I'm Ian at KarateMart.com. And I'm Corbin from KarateMart.com. Corbin, what are you wearing? I'm wearing the Ninja Half Mask. Patient Zero over here. It's the Ninja Half Mask. Oh, it's cool. I can think of several times and places for that. Yeah? This is not one of them. The, this video has nothing to do with a ninja mask, actually. It's about Eskrima sticks. It's actually about one specific Eskrima stick. Why don't you show the viewers at home? It's the high-strength aluminum Eskrima stick. We've actually had this on the site for a few years, but we never made a video on it. And even though we made a video on Eskrima sticks not too long ago, it's got the 26-inch length. It's an inch diameter. We did this machine grip on it. It's made out of that 6061 aluminum alloy. It weighs about 14 ounces. Has that nice uh, thick gauge wall on it. This is a good Eskrima. Yeah, it's really strong. And so what we wanted to do is rather than blab on about it for 15 minutes, we're just going to use it to destroy something. How about another lesser Eskrima? Like this blue one right here? Yes. I don't think you can hold that firmly. Oh, enough. my, my grip is in the briar. Took care of that. Done. Oh, that's nice. Look, the some of the paint rubbed off. You ever get in a car accident? That that's not an accident. That's when your car kisses another car. When your car kisses, you just trade a little paint. You trade a little paint, and then you dash off, and then you're like, oh man, I gotta gotta go to the hardware store and get some sort of rubbing compound. That'll buff right out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's fine. Let's go, honey. Actually, when I when I first got my driver's license, I, I kissed a house with my dad's car. And it was like a mobile home park. I've used my car to kiss a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So this hardwood Eskrima just kissed the high-strength aluminum Eskrima. Yeah, it took this thing right apart, didn't it? It sure did. Did it hurt your hand? It, it scratched it slightly. I think I'll be okay. Stop mothering me. Just let me wallow in my splinter and subsequent infection. You know what's good is after you destroy a lesser Eskrima, you then are prepared to deal with vampires. Now you wouldn't be able to do that with rattan, right? No, yeah, rat rattan wouldn't spill like this. It would <laughs> crunch and peel apart. And we have a video about that. But this is a good, this is a good vampire. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is not good for vampires. No, no, it's, it's aluminum. Not. You need silver. I thought that was werewolves. Garlic. It's not made of garlic or no, sunlight. If you, get, if you get another piece of metal, you can make a little cross, and then you dip it in boiling holy water, both sides, and then and then you've got yourself an anti-vampire escrima stick. Mm -hmm. But short of that, this is just the regular vanilla high-strength aluminum Eskrima stick that you can get at KarateMart.com. So check it out. And that's our video. That's, that's our video. If you like this video, be sure to put the little thumbs up or thumbs little heart and yeah. do, the, do the bell and subscribe. Come on, you're yeah. watching the video. Participate. If you're on Facebook, share it and like it and follow us on Facebook. We do a lot of stuff on Instagram. Robert is an excellent photographer. He's, he's a behind-the-scenes guy. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the pathological need for attention and approval that Corbin and I have. Yeah, we have a problem. <laughs>